Hello, good people. This is Sherry Shine, owner and designer for Sharika Originals Handcrafted Gifts, where we create jewelry for those who are deliberately different. We also create YouTube YouTube videos to help bring out your creative genius. My favorite material to work on is one eighth inch birch plywood, but today I decided to use one quarter inch birch plywood. I also, uh, I'm really into making these hoop earrings right now, but I also decided to try my hand at making a necklace. I haven't had a lot of practice with making a necklace, but someone asked me if I made necklaces, so I'm gonna give it a try. For materials, you need a round piece of painted wood, uh, 18 inches of 12 gauge wire, your wire cutters, the plastic blocks, and a hammer. I painted this wood with uh, gold, silver, black, and different tones of gray. Um, I wanted to say, make something that would kind of go with uh, whatever you had. I cut out my design on my Glowforge. This is the same design that I used for my hoops. I just changed the way that I did the earrings. And this is the hoop design that I've just uh, really enjoying making. And I thought it would be heavier since it's with the 1 4th inch wood, but it's not any heavier. So I just enjoy the fact that all my earrings are lightweight. Now I'm cutting 18 inches of the 12 gauge wire. And please forgive me because it is very difficult for me to stay <laughs> in the camera with this long piece of wire. I designed a hole at the top because I wanted to be able to insert my wire and then use that as an anchor. As I start wrapping this wire, I bring one piece from the back to the front to try to stabilize it. Once I get it stabilized, I go from side to side making big loops. Um, I started with one large loop and then the next two loops are shorter uh, in graduated size. I'm making long loops on the side and I'll just make the loops shorter as I as I go.
I forgot to uh, add the round nose pliers to the supply list. To work harden it, I use the plastic blocks and hammer my wire. This also serves to stabilize it even more. So here's my final project. I decided that I, I would make this a set. So I have the earrings and the pendant or necklace. And then I decided to go ahead and make another one, uh, a gold tone set that I'll show you. I invite you to check out some of my other videos. I have about 200 video on jewelry making. Well, this is Sherry, and as always, be blessed.